Okay, so now we're going to have a look at condensation and hydrolysis reactions. So condensation. What do you think of when you think of condensation? You think of water. So if you breathe onto a mirror, that is condensation. It's forming condensation. Water is leaving and collecting. So condensation. And if you condense something, you're kind of making it a little bit smaller. You're squashing things together. So water is leaving. And you are squashing things together. Hydrolysis. Hydrolysis. Now, have a look at the word. Lysis is to split. Um... So anything that has lysis in it is splitting and hydro is water. So we're going to split something using water. So if we just have a look at two general shapes, what we're going to do with a hydrolysis reaction is we are going to bond them together and we are going to remove water. Okay, and then hydrolysis we're going to split those two things using water. Okay, so you end up with those two things left over again. Okay, so we're going to use alpha glucose as our example to show condensation and hydrolysis reactions. So let's draw a couple of glucoses. I'm not going to draw all of these things in because we all know what's there. The only one I'm going to draw in here is that one. Um, <clears throat> so we are going to put these things together, we are going to remove water. Now, water, you've got to remember, two hydrogens and one oxygen. Now, by drawing it like this, you can easily see where these things have kind of lined up. So we've got an oxygen and a hydrogen here, an oxygen and a hydrogen here. So you are going to remove one hydrogen, two hydrogens and an oxygen. Now, all you have to do for biology is rub those out and then you can just draw that bond in like that if you want to. For the sake of kind of neatness, we tend to then just put the oxygen in the middle. OK, so that's a condensation reaction. And then you have to write plus H2O. If we want to do the hydrolysis, then all we do is break the bond, put water back in. And again, for the sake of neatness, we put the OH back over there. OK, so that's absolutely all we are ever doing. We are adding two things together to form um, a dimer. You can form a polymer, so if you had three things already bonded to each other, you could then add in another one. You could have small chains that you are then bonding together. It is still a condensation reaction. Breaking that one, breaking that one, breaking all of those would all be hydrolysis reactions. So let's go back to our example of glucose. So we're going to have one glucose here, don't forget you can always pause, go back, have a practice of these, you've got to just keep drawing them out again and again and again. So let's have a look at what kind of bond we are going to form. Now if you put two sugars together, or add a sugar to a chain of sugars, you make a glycosidic 
bond. But there are two different types of glycosidic bond. There's one four and there's one six, and we need to know which one we've got. So all you have to do is count the carbon. So that's carbon one, two, three, four, five, six. Carbon one, two, three, four, five, six. So if we bond these two together, like that, the bond is between carbon one of one glucose and carbon four of a different glucose. And that's the wording you have to use. It's between the carbon, um, the first carbon of one glucose and the fourth carbon of a different glucose residue, glucose molecule, it doesn't matter. So that would be a 1,4 glycosidic bond. Now, if we were to form the other one, 1,6 one, glycosidic bond, um, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. I'll draw it down here. So if we've got our glucose, oops, quite badly drawn, glucose, then we've got carbon one there. If we draw another glucose, and we've got carbon six there, then if it's a one six bond, it's between carbon one of one glucose and carbon six of a different glucose. So again, you are removing water. So you're removing a hydrogen. You're removing a hydrogen and you're removing an oxygen. And so it is a bond there. And those two hydrogens you could just draw kind of going off wherever. Okay, so that is carbon one, that is carbon six, so that is a one six glycosidic bond. Now one four glycosidic bonds will give you a churn. One six glycosidic bonds will give you a branch. And it can go off wherever. And then you could start another 1,4 chain. And you could have another branch. So that would be a 1,6 bond. So anytime you've got a branch, anytime it's going off in a slightly different direction from that linear, then you've got a 1,6 bond. Okay? So that's condensation and hydrolysis reactions, and it's the same for any of the biological molecules. All the biological molecules, when you do a condensation reaction, you are removing water. When you do a hydrolysis reaction, you're putting water back in to break them apart. Okay?